Hello, awesome people of YouTube. This is Daryl of Give the Creeper a Hug. And today I'm going to show you a simple card trick that will amaze your friends. Ooh, magic. Anyway, get a, card, get a deck of cards and select 16 cards at random. I'll get your friends to select them. I'll just take the top 16 because I can't be asked. I'll skip this so you don't have to watch me selecting the 16 cards. Actually, no, the scene, I won't, just so you know, I'm not cheating. So I've got four there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep, there's sixteen cards. Okay, I'll pause and arrange them, which I'll see you in a nanosecond. By range, I meant to do that. Right, so these are no longer needed. So they can go anywhere. Right. You want to put these down anywhere, right? And you want to grab them and put them into four rows of four. Like this. So there's one row. Do that four times going down like that. Okay, I'll pause to skip it to save time because my phone can't record long. Okay, when you're done it should look something like this. If it doesn't, retrace your steps and then make sure it looks like this. Now, tell your friends or whoever you're tricking to pick a card. And once they've picked a card, you ask them what row it's in. Rows going like this cross like this. Remember, like this. Okay. So, because that's just me here, I'll pick a card at random. We'll say this one. Jack of Clubs. You would ask them what row the card's in, like I said before. They would say, if they pick that card, row three. Coming from the top, up here, downwards. Row 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right. So once you know what row it's in, collect in the other cards like this. And then place them on top of each other. And I'll show you what to do once I've done that. Okay, so all the other rows apart from that row should be like this. And I'll pick them up and place them on top. Like so now you can collect in the other deck of cards, turn over that deck, and put these for there. Then do the same like you did there at the beginning, putting them out into rows of four by four. Make sure it stays on its back so that the Four cards that were in row three will be down here. I'll see you in a nanosecond. Okay, I'm back. So if you go back and check, the cards that were here are now here. I'll let you look. Right. Now, you say to them again, which row is your card in now? So, my card is here. So I say row two. Then they know which card is yours. They know that that is your card. Or well, you would know that that is their card, I mean. Okay. Now, do the same. Collect these in. Place them on top of each other, and I'll see you in a nanosecond to show you what to do with the last row. Okay, so you've collected the other rows in, and you've put them together, and you want, I want you to turn them over so, all, so that it's like that. Then, grab three of the cards, these three, and put them together. Then grab it, then grab 
this card with that card. Or you can be more sneaky. Leave them like that and grab them like that and then pull that one to the bottom and put them on top. Then pick up the card, give it the magic blow, <sighs> put them down again, or you can still hold them in your hand. Tap it and go. That's your card. And that is my card. That is the magic trick. Very simple, but very effective. If you enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe, or add to your favourites. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If this trick was wrong, and you tried it many times and it was wrong, give me a video response to prove me that it's wrong, and then I'll see what you do if you're doing anything wrong. If you're doing everything right, then I apologise. But other than that, it should work. It's a good trick. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening to me ramble and.